Draw your last pathetic card so I can end this, Yugi. My grandpa's deck has no pathetic cards, Kaiba. But it does contain... So what even is Mill? An outdated archetype? Or something else? So you want to learn the secrets of Mill. But you're a little bit confused. I understand. After all, it takes some time to master one of the best ways to play magic. Mill is unlike anything you've ever played before. You're literally trading your opponent's health bar for their library. And in most cases, that's a bad deal. So why play it? Simple. This is the best way to play magic, and the most fun. Today, I'm going to be teaching you how to play Mill, so you can enjoy mind-breaking your opponents. Yes, I said mind-break. Listen, when you play magic, you're technically a planeswalker, and your deck represents your learned spells and creature summons. That means Mill is literally destroying your opponent's mind. What's cooler than that? Mill gets its name from Millstone, a relic from a bygone era of magic. Mill is just slang for a win condition in magic that involves taking the cards from your opponent's library and putting them into the graveyard or exile. Naturally, there are many cards to help us do this, but none are built the same, except for a few. I won't be going over all the variations of Mill today, that's something that you can explore in your own time. For today's purposes, we're going to treat it like you're building a control shell in Mill, which is the most common type. So sit back and relax, and let's get into how to build a Mill deck. The first rule is, you need to know your format. Whether you're playing in person or on arena, there are many different formats and you need to know which one you're going to play, because your card pool will change depending on which one you pick. We now need to consider our mana curve. On your screen will be mana curve guides depending on the format that you're playing. Modern and EDH are very different from each other and you do need to take time to study this. You can not deviate, but just make sure that you don't deviate too far, otherwise you're going to run into some issues. Efficient mill cards. This is going to include cards that mill a significant number of cards per activation or have powerful mill effects. Prioritize cards that mill multiple cards at once rather than those that mill one card at a time. A good example of an efficient mill card is Archive Trap. If an opponent searched his or her library this turn, you may pay zero rather than pay Archive Trap's mana cost. Target opponent puts the top 13 cards of his or her library into the graveyard. Now that we know how we're going to be milling out our opponents, we need to add some card advantage. A really good rule of thumb is that you add card advantage that works with your mill synergy. Pretty simple, right? So for example, Visions of Beyond. One blue mana. Draw a card. If an opponent has 20 or more cards in it, draw three cards instead. Now we have bombs and a way to draw them. The only problem is we need a way to stay alive. That's going to mean we're going to have to play some Disruption. Good disruption is either a kill spell, a board wipe, or a counter spell, and most of the time you'll be playing all three. A good example of a good kill spell is Drown in the Lock. Blue and a black, it either counters a spell or it destroys a creature. That's perfect, it's exactly what we want. And if you're looking for a board wipe, look no further than Supreme Verdict or Wrath of God. The majority of your mill deck is going to consist of one of these three things. Just keep in mind, I would learn how to play first before you start filling in the holes now. So that brings me to my next topic. How to play a mill. Playing your new mill deck effectively is going to be tough, and it will take some time. Just remember, careful planning, timing, and knowledge of your opponent's deck and game plan are going to suit you best. You need to understand your win conditions that you put in your deck. You can't always play them on curve. Remember, you need to plan your mill spells carefully. Timing is crucial when playing mill spells. Look for opportunities to maximize their effectiveness. For example, if your opponent has a large hand size, consider waiting until they draw cards before casting a mill spell to increase its impact. Playing mill is a balancing act. You need to preserve your resources. Unlike some aggressive strategies, milling tends to be a more drawn out process. Be mindful of your resources, such as cards in hand and mana available. Use them wisely and don't waste them on unnecessary spells or activations. This is something that is called impulse control, and it's hard to master in magic. And even if you do master it, you'll still find yourself slipping up time to time. I know I do. Just remember, always analyze the cards that your opponent plays and find the best time to deal with them. Remember, if an opponent played a creature on your turn with flash, you can always wait until their turn to kill it with an instant speed spell. 
and there are very different approaches to mill. It depends on your playstyle and the cards you have available. Some mill decks focus on turbo milling, trying to empty your opponent's library as quickly as possible. Cards like Glimpse the Unthinkable and Archive Trap are great for this strategy. Other mill decks take a more patient approach, chipping away at your opponent's library over time. Cards like Frayed Sanity or Teferi's Tutelage or Vantress Gargoyle can help you in this strategy. Remember, mill is a unique and sometimes unconventional strategy. It may not always be the most competitive choice, but it can certainly be fun and a satisfying way to play. So embrace the madness, revel in the fear in your opponents, and enjoy the journey of mind-breaking your way to victory. And there you have it. That's how you play mill. It's a pretty complex strategy if you're trying to get good at it, but it's very rewarding. And if you're not subscribed already, and you'd like to see more of this kind of content, go ahead and hit that bell.